Red, White, Blue, and You. Stories about America for all Americans. Welcome to the first episode of Red, White, Blue, and You. I'm Jane Hampton Cook. I'm an author, columnist, screenwriter, a presidential historian, a former White House staffer, but I'm also a wife and a mother, and more than anything, I'm an American just like you. What I want to share in this series are stories about America for all Americans, regardless of our skin color, or male or female, uh, ethnicity, our religious beliefs. These stories are for all of us. So to start, I wanted to ask this question. What does the U.S. flag mean? Well, the Continental Congress gave us the answer on June 14, 1777. This is what they said. Resolved that the flag of the 13 United States be 13 stripes, alternate red and white, that there be a union of 13 stars, white in a blue field, representing a new constellation. That's all they said. They didn't talk about who made the flag. They didn't mention that a year earlier, George Washington had hoisted a flag in Boston and it looked too much like the British flag and he realized he needed a new design. And a new design was this constellation of 13 stars and 13 stripes. Gone were the 13 British colonies, replacing them were 13 states. And John Adams said it was so difficult. It was like a variety of nations, of making up a variety of religious beliefs, of customs and differences. It was hard to come together, but they did under this idea of America. So what does the flag mean today? If it meant union and unity, in 1777, what does it mean today? Well, it still means union and unity, but today we have 50 stars on our flag, representing 50 different states. People uh, with still a variety of religious beliefs, a variety of interest in um, an amazing country made up of all sorts of people from all around the world who come to make the United States their home, their country, their nation. But there was something missing in 1777. I wondered why didn't the Continental Congress define the meaning of the colors, red, white, and blue. They didn't say anything about it. And they had a lot of business on their calendar that day. They had to fire one ship captain and hire a new upstart named John Paul Jones but they didn't mention the colors. I did discover the answer a few years later, and I'll share the meaning of the colors starting in the next episode of Red, White, Blue, and You. Be sure to hit subscribe, check out my books on amazon.com, and visit janecook.com. Thanks for watching, I'm Jane Hampton Cook.